Yeah, my dudes. My name's Walter. Might as well come say hey. This is Oso. Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. And I'm gonna actually let me show you. Someone asked why I don't bring the treats to my desk, and I'll show you. Hold on. And this is why I can't leave it on my desk. I don't want to bring this meat to transform. All right, be back. There we go. Happy puppies. But yeah, that those treats are they don't they belong in the freezer. How's everyone? Good, I hope. Obviously. Um, you know what I want to do? I want to just start with the war report. Yeah, let's do that. Got some notes. War report. What's going on? Oh. Well, also part of the war report. Um, it sounds like I may have missed a couple names in the drawing. So, the only way I, I see this to be fair and not inhibit anyone who's newly donating to the channel from, from, uh, or gosh, for this week up until Sunday, pardon me, not to negate them, what I'll do is I'll give away two boxes and that way. You guys I may have missed will be re-entered. You have a chance at a box, kind of doubly, like you missed out on the last one, as well as a, a new contributor supporter can uh, also have an opportunity at winning. So let's roll that. And I'm kind of excited about the boxes as we get up to it. But uh, yeah. yeah, the boxes will be cool. Speaking of boxes, there's a new box set. I follow uh, Ministry of Diecast, always the plug on stuff. And another box set. I'm not, I'm not there, but you know, if I see it on the shelf, it's less than 15 bucks, I'll buy it. Here's, here's a new one that we're all gonna buy. It's this new Boulevard set, courtesy of the same homies. They're definitely the plug, you know. I'm not sure if it's great to know all of the upcoming stuff, but at the same time, it can't be bad, I guess. I like, I like the mystery factor, so. Hmm. Fortunately, Walmart is going to lay off hundreds of employees and specifically in the e-commerce division, uh, kind of following suit with, you know, targets and their kind of uh, e-commerce storefronts, uh, pickup onlys rather. Uh, and <laughs> Amazon, you know, just released another 9,000 employees. And that's on top of the 18,000 back in January. And that's because, you know, and I don't know if you guys remember, but a, a company, Timu, uh, presented themselves at the Super Bowl in their commercial, so they're eating up some of Amazon's business. But what's happening is Amazon's eating up Walmart and Target's online business. TMU is now eating in Amazon's business. I mean, Amazon's, you know, they had these warehouses that were going to be built and other offices. That's, that's off the table. Um, and basically, the fault of it all is COVID hate to blame this stupid virus for more stuff but if you can imagine we basically had three years of COVID so first year those guys really benefited because they were all online dealers we were all locked down second year they're like well it's still going on maybe we need to build and commit to this being the future of shopping so they did third year was still going on there was some stuff going on now we're rolling into this fourth year and people aren't shopping in that manner or to that degree anymore. So, so basically they, they, they like any big business would, you know, 
they're going to restructure themselves to support what they believe the new market is going to be and and, and whether and, i mean I, they're they're all doing pretty good if you ask me but um sounds like they had a the forecast just didn't work out for them so um we're going to give them you know, uh, man, thanks and apologies to those employees that are getting cut, man. The whole world, the markets, everything's really crazy right now. You know, everything's going up in cost, but we're not necessarily getting paid more. And that sucks. And that's another reason I asked. I had to ask for donations to the channel because I'm one of those people not getting paid more. But I'm offering up more time and energy for other projects like such and... Uh, just need to be compensated and or not it be my personal investment so be sure to donate to the channel it doesn't matter the amount I will get all of you who donate to the channel from I believe it was March 26th until that following Sunday um, in the drawing and I'll get I'll get a much more exciting drawing will of some something that maybe makes some sounds or something I don't know um, what else? Yo, there's a show I kind of accidentally discovered called Life Size on Motor Trend. I don't know if you guys have that channel, but check out the show. It's a Hot Wheels show. It's the Life Size Cars, man. Twin Mill, duh. The Bone Shaker, chat with Larry. It's, it's a cool show. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. There's a few episodes, so um, maybe more than a few, but go in go in if that's what you're into I'm into it I'm into it all right Ugh. what did I do today I did some peg hunting stopped at a Walmart I'll let you guys see what's in the store
So, I don't believe I left there with anything. Uh, it's kind of same old, same old. From there, I went to a another Walmart. version of this brand, what is it, a liquid or what have you. Doesn't look like I'm finding one a day. Gosh, those are such amazing haulers, but they just don't roll. What a mess. Ready for some new case stuff, but not finding any. So I'll have to keep it moving. It was okay, I think. Did I get anything in that Walmart? Maybe I didn't. I didn't get anything in that Walmart. Yeah, no, I didn't. So while I was waiting for Target to open, I went to an Albertsons. Holy calamity, scream insanity! Oh, are you ever going to be another great fan of me? Chase guy, per se. Maybe. I did that with the mod there. Double check your Batmans. No, I'm not even to an Albertsons. Scored some cars. 
show you guys. First, because I gave the Night Panda all my Audis, I needed to start rebuilding my collection because I love them. And then I realized I'm like, I gave Panda like basically, basically all of them, basically. But I love the Panda. He's he's the leader of our car club back in Colorado, and he has a. Uh, bailed me out so many times I just can't even if he ask I'm giving you know um, pardon me I, I, I tried to reuse the same bags I'm, I'm feeling guilty for grabbing all these plastic bags and here in Montana they don't charge us for the bags yet and I feel like every bag I take I'm contributing to them getting to a point to charge us for bags although it sounds like Walmart Target it's gonna be a corporate wide thing where they start charging for bags. So. All right, there we go. I wanna get all this stuff out so I can see what I got. Did I tell you guys about this Audi? Did I? Sick Quattro. Sport Quattro. The premium they did is kind of drab, which is weird, but I like this one. They did an all red one too. That's pretty hype because it's just solid red. It looks kind of wrong. And that's why I like it, I guess. Stumbled across. And, you know, these are from the grocer, so they're all international stuff. But I did get a pair of cool combis. I just kind of grab those. They're moon eyes. They're combis. I'm tired of the short bus, but I still know a good car. And it'll be great in these boxes in the future for you guys if you haven't been lucky enough to score one. And did come across a couple surf crates too. Pretty stoked on these. This is one of my favorite treasure hunts because it's all metal. All metal. It's got a surfboard. North Shore. You ever seen that movie's classic? Howly Bud. It was the dude's name, Keiko, maybe, the character. One of the characters' name was Keiko. But a really good treasure hunt. A forever great treasure hunt. And these were all from... Uh, I went to a couple grocers, pardon me. I didn't show you all the hauls, I don't think. But I found a couple of these. Or a few of these, rather. A case, super. So, you know, they had dump bins and shippers and pegs. And I went through them, man. I went through them. Gosh, then finally, Target opens. So I went and checked those pegs out. You guys can check them out. Target. Target. Satisfactory. Let's see what I got. I don't have much room on this here desk. But I was stoked if you guys didn't know I had trouble finding the Disney Citron oh, let me see why everybody was picking this thing up it's legit legit yeah, no. but I got this mug mine 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 and to compliment that one is the highway hauler with Woody Another great casting. You know, you pretty much only see this casting in premium now, which is rad. And, uh, you know, I'm one of the new school progressive dudes. I go both ways. So I buy some Matchbox 2B. Check out that Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. This is how and why Matchbox is getting a drop on these dudes. Sorry. You're gonna get a much better look. Don't free it fry, yay. Much better look. What else did I get? The moving parts series is rad. Okay. Now I'm wondering, because they've made, you know, here's the 1990 MR2 W20, and it's headlights up right hand drive. So this is the JDM insulation. Moving parts so the doors open. Um, same on that that Porsche but uh really finished I mean really finished they did and did the 
the butt, did the fascia, all that. But you know, obviously they have the variations of the 84s and 85s where you have the headlights up, left hand, right hand, headlights down, left hand, right hand. So I'm assuming that we'll need to look out for those too. So an expensive variation set to complete, but damn it, I'm probably gonna complete it. Whew. Talk about a really good buy. It's this 2020 BMW Cabriolet, the M4. I saw this jackass parking today at one of the last places I stopped at. He had an M3. He just parked like an asshole. That's the BMW stamp. He just parked like an asshole. That was today. I saw it. Shame on him. Nice ride, though. Very nice car. What else we found at Target? Oh. 63 Ford F100. I'm almost buying these just because they're not getting the love that the C10s get, obviously, or all the Chevy stuff. And I, I mess with a Ford. My mom's a Lincoln lady, so... I back her play. So I eat the Divco Michelle livery. Go ahead with your bad self. Delivering milk and gas. Back door is open. Sliding doors don't work, but they're both they're open on both sides. This is sick, but I thought it was a beetle. <laughs> it's a uh, 56 Mor uh, Morris Minor. Still want to call it a beetle. I, I just didn't look at it. I just grabbed it because it was a different car than the, the previous four or five. How, five. how many did I get? And it's also the silver tab, like Levi's. I wonder, is that a thing? Because I also found that nine pack that has the silver thing. Is that what Matchbox is doing? It's kind of like limited pieces. I'm not sure. What I'm sure of though is I did find, can I show these? Can I show these? I'm not sure, but I found these three too. And so what I was gonna say is one of those, as well as one of its partners will go into one of these mystery boxes. So I think I'm being fair and I ashamed that I made a mistake, but I pride myself on trying to be fair and being honest. So there's my honest mistake. This is how I'm gonna make up for it. Hopefully everybody's happy. People helping people, mafia, gang. Cause there's only three of us <laughs> right now. Um, so you can be in it. You can get jumped in. You can wear the brand. It's up to you. Went to oh, went to Dollar Tree. That's Dollar Tree stop. There's well, a different color bike, and this is the sheriff. One, so a few different variations there. these things these are made by Tara toy group so I don't know if that means they don't have the clear ones anymore but it's just like the clear ones they used to have it's black but I don't understand it's they're black you can't see them when you they give you the holes to hang it up so hmm. see that save that soldier knocked it down with my hat. Right. You can get a couple different cars too. You can get the Mad Race. Mad Race. Race Zone. What's this one? Nothing. Just a whole bunch of excitement. Yeah. We'll see. Where I want. You guys enjoy, but Check that out. And although 
there was no cars bought. I did buy <laughs> bought all three decos of these Hot Wheels cases. And again, I think they're really weird because they're black, so you can't see what you got in there. But they do provide you with the mounting holes on the back. But they got three decos. You got your that one. Then you got the uh, Roger Dodger made race made to race and then we got this one that I can never remember the name but I like the casting I have the car hot stuff uh, there's there's an these giveaway boxes are gonna be flame gonna be rather weird though speaking of weird last stop stopped in uh, at uh, Shields Check that out. Hmm. Right. Mazda. Caddy on the shortcut. These aren't anyone's pets, but beautiful head of elk. They see us. Puppy see him. Six, nine, twelve, something like that. Also got some cars. So that was weird. I was kind of like, all right. And I never, I mean, it's cool to find short card treasure hunts. Really cool. Euro, I feel all Euro. Euro, you know what I mean? Like European and stuff. And that's what I got there. But um, one more thing. Probably my favorite car from the day. Not probably. Second to favorite. Forgot at Target, I did score this 1980 AMC Eagle. This thing needs to be a chase piece, y'all. Real talk. This thing is bad to the bone. Did make one more stop. And uh, that was to a uh, O'Reilly's. Saw the homie. Check it out. Let's see. One of my favorite O'Reilly's in Missoula. These guys are stacked. Yeah. A lot of O'Reilly's have character cars, but another good place to get premiums. They also have their exclusive M2s. So many Camaros, not enough Firebirds. Favorite bone shaker. 
bone shaker. Oh, I gotta tell you guys about a TV show I found too. That's right. Who's the top Bentley? Bentley's cool. That's not, oh, that's really cool. So T Challenger D is that? 2021. Let's see. I actually have a ton of mail. Oh! Where's that? Give me that main one. There's that too. Finally found a 90 quad throw. There we go. So that's a good one. Alright, out of here. What I grabbed was this Audi 90 quad throw. Oh, it's crazy because, I mean, well, it's not crazy, but stoked it's in a retro racer series. It makes a lot of sense. Um, this thing just kind of came in and bashed the GT movement. And he stuck with the flat six. I mean, actually, no, flat five. But this thing had like 700 horsepower, so maybe more than that. This thing came through and cleaned house on a lot of mo mothers. And it did really good on his casting. So this is this is a real treasure today. Stoked on a Batmobiles too. So I'm stoked I, can, I had extras to get you guys um, in the giveaways. And I don't even know, there might be more. <laughs> those two stores your Albertsons and Safeways All right. and I don't believe they're sharing the buy yet but Kroger's as well should have a ton of ABC mostly AB case international stuff so go do the digging if you see a dump bin go dig in it you know um, they're also having a sales contest but you know the Kroger buying Albertson Safeway is a good thing because what that's going to do is give them more buying power. So hopefully the cost of most of their products should come down because they should get it cheaper for buying more. It's good things. So let's hope that's the case. Godfather and homie Matt <laughs> sent a bunch of these too. Your boxes will be smelling good in a mug. We got some cool stuff going on and hopefully you guys think this is cool because I'm gonna keep giving it to you and uh, I just appreciate you guys riding along I, 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 I would love it if you like what you're hearing and seeing hit the like button if you don't sub already please sub I can't imagine anyone else watching this that doesn't sub that's why I say it in that manner because I I'm just a little fish in a big pond. And then uh, you should be notified because I'm gonna set up notifications for the giveaways and drawings and um, you will wanna tune in and see if you're one of those guys. So thank you in advance for donating to the channel and helping me justify these giveaway boxes as well. Um, if you label them gifts, you can write them off from what I understand, so. Um, I'm going to label these boxes gifts, so gift giving season is every week until I get fried on it, I guess, or it doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, I'm going to go see what these puppies are doing besides all bad, so again, thanks again for riding along. That's it. Holla at your boy. Peace.